Have you heard of PWM and wonder what that is? I am going to shed some light on the topic. I will also show you how to use PWM to drive a servo motor of a Raspberry Pi Pico W. All you need for this project is a Raspberry Pi Pico W, some jumper cables and a servo motor like the SG90 motor that you see here. Once everything is set up, you can control the servo from your internet browser. Let's get started. So what is PWM? PWM means pulse width manipulation and describes a digital signal with an adjustable amount of on time. On time is the time span in which the signal is high. When using PWM you have to specify a duty cycle. The duty cycle is the percentage of on time in one period. PWM can be used to dim LEDs or to control servos for example. In our case we want to drive a servo motor. In order to move the servo to a specific angle we need to apply a PWM signal with the correct duty cycle. The duty cycle can be found in the servos datasheet. As always the first step is to connect your servo motor to the Pico W which is fairly easy. The black or brown wire from your servo needs to be connected to any ground pin of the Pico W while the red wire needs to be connected to VBUS. Finally connect the orange or white wire of the servo to any of the Pico W's GPIO pins. In our case I will connect it to GPIO pin 0. Let's have a quick look at the code. The code for this project is written in MicroPython and can be found in our Pico W GitHub repository. As always you can find the link in the description below. After the necessary imports we define a servo class. In the init method we need to specify the minimum and maximum duty cycle, the GPIO pin number that we use to control the servo and the PWM frequency. The class also contains a function to rotate the servo to a certain angle. We create a servo object and then set the SSID and password of the Pico W. The Pico W gets configured as a soft access point and we wait until it is active. Then we define a function to load our HTML page. The index.html page is just a simple HTML page with some basic styling. In the body you find a range slider that we will use to control the servo. There's also some simple JavaScript that displays the slider value and sends it back to the server. Back in our MicroPython script we create a socket object and listen for incoming connections. If we receive a connection we extract the slider value and rotate the servo. Finally we respond by sending the index.html page with the adjusted slider value. Since we named the script main.py it will start automatically whenever the Pico W is booted up. Run the script once in Thony to see the IP address that the Pico W assigns to itself. The IP address should always stay the same. Once the Pico W is listening for connections you can connect to it via Wi-Fi with the login credentials that we specified earlier. Then all you need to do is to enter the IP address into your browser. As you can see whenever the slider is released the servo moves very fast and precisely to the specified angle. It's also worth mentioning that the code was only tested for Safari on an iPhone. So if you are using different devices or a different browser you might need to make some adjustments. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel as we will post videos like this on a weekly basis. Also check out our store by zero to pick up everything you need for your Raspberry Pi projects.